But it's certainly one of the most prestigious, if not the most prestigious, dating all the way back to 1936. They're in the stretch and up to speed. Field of the 55th 1997 Canadian Pacing Derby Championship. And they're off with Hare Hare making a gate break and uh, putting himself in a hole early. Falcon Scooter extremely rough gated, way out wide. It's Golden Shot Killeen, Village Connection, strong plan along the inside. Misfit is fourth. And on the extreme outside, Falcon Scooter is back down pacing more smoothly to be in from Feff. The Wrath of Pan just ahead of Stable Mate, sixth and seventh with Slick Pavement right in behind the Wrath of Pan. Then winning goalie Pacific Fella and Hare Hare after the gate break is trailing this field. Village Connection, Paul McDonnell in 26 and 3, establishing the lead pretty much as expected. It's Village Connection cutting out the mile. Right on his back is Strong Plan for the two hole trip and Golden Shot Killeen got in from third. Fourth on the outside is Falcon Scooter. Misfit follows up in fifth. There's the Wrath of Pan. Tony Morgan tipped him out from sixth. Slick pavement on his cover from seventh. Winning goalie is eighth. Pacific fella pretty far back in ninth. And Hare Hare after the gate mistake is tenth. Village Connection got the half in 55 seconds. 28 and 2. Much more moderate in the second quarter. Village Connection the leader into the far turn. Strong plan getting the best trip of all. Falcon Scooter going wide all the way for Ron Waples. Is still out there grinding away in third. Golden Shot Killeen is fourth. The Wrath of Pan where he loves it. A second over fifth. Misfit sixth at the inside. Slick pavement out from seventh. Winning goalie tries it. Three high from eighth. Then Pacific Fella and trailing Hare Hare. Village Connection. Strong Clan has been bravening up in behind him. 123 and 1. 28 and 1. Third quarter. Village Connection. Strong Clan and the Wrath of Pan has asked for his best now. Out in the center of the track. But it's Strong Clan taking over from Village Connection. The Wrath of Pan is going to chase to the end and slick pavement is between horses strong plan is digging in for all he's got and he's got a win in the canadian pacing derby strong plan defeated slick pavement in the wrath of pan in 151 and one strong plan Stu for and randy waples have clicked to win the 55th canadian pacing derby that's an emotional popular local victory gary and bruce back to you so but tonight he comes back what a tremendous story as Strong Clan, to the delight of many Canadians, gets the victory. Well, it's a big night for Canada, and it's a big winner's circle right now. Strong Clan, owned by Elgin Strong of Oakville and Peter MacArthur of Mississauga, Ontario. This horse was bred in Inglewood, Ontario, and it is a sweep for the Canadians tonight in this last race as Strong Clan gets the job done. He's been called a miracle horse. Hey guys, everyone over here. Miracle horse and an excellent drive from Randy Waples. And when you sit in the pocket, and somewhere in there is the driver, Randy Waples, who's only 32 years of age, and he is the son of Hall of Famer Ron Waples. Where is he, Ken Workington? Winning driver Randy Waples, a chip off the old block, of course, a son of uh, the uh, Hall of Famer Ron Waples, and uh, a great, first of all, great choice in driving this horse uh, over uh, the horse we picked here, Pacific Fella. Well, Pacific Fella was absolutely huge last week, and uh, you know Bill's been really good to me all year, and and it was a really tough decision, it really was. But Stu's been there longer. I've been driving this horse all year, and uh, my heart goes with Stu. I had to go with uh, with him on this one. Well, last week you said, or after last week's race, you said he didn't race uh, Strong Clan, didn't race the way he usually does. You just try to keep him out of trouble. Basically, yeah, like he he raced good. I just didn't really drive him the way that I wanted to drive him. He's not as good on the front end, but. The, where I was sitting wasn't a good spot either, so I thought I'd go back to the front, take my chances, and just try and make it in the final. And that's what he did, and uh, this was more like the kind of horse that he is. Oh, Randy, let's take a look at the stretch drive here, and you followed the horse that uh, was the likely pace setter, and that is Village Connection. What are you thinking here, top of the stretch? Well, I mean, you know, Village Connection's a good horse, and there was a few coming at the end of it. Clan's a bit of a lazy horse down the inside, but I'll tell you, there's no greater feeling than what I'm feeling right now. You know, he's a he's a super little horse, and he gives it his all every week. And, uh, you know, I, my, my, my great compliments to the owners and to Stu for a lot for letting me drive this horse. Well, I'm surprised you still have a voice left. You were yelling right there at the wire and, uh, and I a great... Think, I don't think that's over with tonight. And a great comeback for this horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. He was next to death door there a couple years ago and uh, he's a champion. Thanks a lot. I'm Bruce Beck. Thanks for joining us, everyone. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.